Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So, today is Friday. October 30th. Tomorrow is Halloween. Um, so I am sitting down today or tonight um, to do my weekly check-in for week five of October. Um, so there were five Fridays in October. So that means I got five different paychecks and also did ended up doing five weekly check-ins, five cash envelope stuffings, five paycheck to paycheck budgets, etc. So I'm going to sit down and go through my weekly check-in for the last week of October. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, please stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I had another $80 go into savings today. Um, this is automatically transferred from my checking account into a savings account. So I'm just going to put that little piggy down there. So I have been doing this since September-ish. Um, so every Friday I have $80 automatically transferred from my checking account to my savings account. Um, and that is just filling up my emergency fund. I already have the $1,000 so I'm basically just adding more to that. Um, as you guys can see, I had a pretty hectic spending week this week um, and actually I think it was kind of a kind of a sight to the future because in November I'm actually going to do a no spend month where obviously you know I'm gonna have to buy groceries and I need to buy gas um, and I can use money from my sinking funds, but my spending category, the purple category here, that is what I'm going to try to not spend. Um, so basically, you know, my personal type things um, is what I'm going to try to eliminate for the month of November. So that is really exciting. So I, you can tell that I got my iced coffee every single morning throughout the week. Um, this week, so that is something that I will be giving up in November, which is depressing, but I think I can do it. So, we're going to go ahead and get started here. I have my monthly overview here, and then all of these colorful stickers are my expense stickers, um, and then this is my little expense key. So, pink is groceries, purple is spending, gr green, orange is gas, Blue is sinking funds, and then the teal is any unbudgeted expenses. So we'll clip that back in. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to go over here. So I already have the first four weeks of October filled in, so we are doing the last week. So I'm going to note down my transactions over here, which I can already tell I'm going to not have enough room. I only have four lines left, and we have way more than four expenses here. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I will go through them all, but I'm just going to total them up over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. So first I'm just going to write down the different categories that I had this week. So I know I had groceries. I definitely know I had spending. I had gas. And then I had no sinking funds, which we would be the blue, and I had no unbudgeted, which would be the tealish colored. There's a fly flying around here that's bothering me. Um, so yeah, just spending groceries and gas is all I had this week. So what I am going to do is just total them up. Um, groceries and gas, I just had the one expense each week, so we'll start with uh, groceries. 
So I spent $66.91 at Hy-Vee. Um, so I'm going to round that up to 67 because the change I just put in the change pocket in my billfold. So we'll round that up. And in my grocery um, cash envelope, I give myself $80 a week. So I should have $13 left over, and I do. So I'm going to put this back into that envelope. And we have $13 left over for groceries. Next, actually I'm going to do gas first. So that'll be the next easiest one. We'll go ahead and mark off that one. Gas was $37.81. So we're going to round that up to $38. And I give myself $40 or $45 every week for gas. So in this envelope, and I just I just stick the receipts right in there. This envelope I have seven $7 left. So we're gonna put that back in there. And we have $7 remaining for gas. And then <clears throat> spending. This one we'll probably need a calculator for because there are quite a few different spending categories. Okay, so we have the first one is Subway on Monday, which was $8.91. And I'm again, I'm going to round all of these up to the next dollar just because I don't mess with the change. So $8.91, so we're going to round that up to nine. And then we have three, which is, it was actually $2.24 for iced coffee. And then on Tuesday, I had tacos for lunch, so we're gonna round that up to five. Um, Tuesday morning, I got my iced coffee, which was $2.24, so we'll go up to three. Wednesday morning, I got iced coffee for three. Thursday morning I got iced coffee for three. Do you guys see a pattern here? And then Friday, <clears throat> which was today, I went to the dollar store and spent six dollars and um, another three dollars this morning for iced coffee. So thirty-five dollars total is what I have for spending amounts for this week. So we'll write down thirty-five and for spending I give myself $40 every week, so I have $5 left over. So we'll mark that down. So that is the last weekly check-in for October. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and check all of these boxes to let myself know that I got all of them. I hate writing on the coils. I'm just going to move that up so it doesn't look so weird. There we go. So we know that we got all of them marked down. Um, and then obviously that is it for October. There's no more weeks ahead for October. So what I like to do now, I first I'm going to put a couple no spend stickers down. I didn't have very many no spend days this week, but we have two. So we'll do Saturday and Sunday and then hopefully in November I'll be able to use a lot more of the no spend stickers since I will be on a no spend November. Um, so the next thing I like to do is I like to just look ahead at the upcoming month um, just to see what bills I have due but I think I might actually do that in the next part of the video. Um, so that's it. We have all of our weekly check-ins. So in the next part, um, I am going to go ahead and do my last paycheck to paycheck budget, which I will do right here. So that'll be paycheck five. Um, and then that is where you guys will see what I do with the extra money that was in my cash envelopes. And I will also stuff my cash envelopes and all of my sinking funds. So if you guys were interested in any of the stickers you see here or you saw, um, they're on my website, morijune.com. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all the fun things, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!